Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show two compact wallets from Louis Vuitton. Both have been in my collection for a couple of years and since these wallets are available on the Louis Vuitton website right now and they make fabulous, fabulous Christmas gifts if you don't want to spend a fortune but you want to get someone a luxury Christmas gift, these are two excellent, excellent options. And let me just say, of course, when I say not so expensive, I mean for a luxury good. Both of these wallets are under $550. Right now, the Victorine, the regular Victorine wallet retails for $540, and the Rosalie coin purse is $400. This is the Christmas animation from 2019. This is the Vivienne and Courcheval, and she's going up the ski gondola and inside it's a fuchsia interior, which you can get a regular Victorine wallet monogram with a fuchsia interior. It's basically the same wallet. The only difference is that the regular Victorine comes into a V in the front and has a snap where the Christmas animation wallets have the flap cover and the snap is also covered. Let me just mention too that if you really look on the Louis Vuitton website, there are very, very few wallet styles. The main differences of what most of their wallets are have to do with what material they're made from. So for instance, they have, I believe it's the iris and the iris is this Victorine wallet basically in Mahina leather. Uh, the Rosalie has also been offered in a Mahina leather, and I want to say an Empreint leather as well, and that's also listed with a different name. So you can get these style wallets in another material. And I believe the Capucine wallet is basically the same as the Victorine, but made with the Capucine leather. I could be wrong. It's a little while since I've actually seen one, but... From what I recall on the website, I think that it's a very similar setup. But anyway, back to the point at hand. So this is basically a trifold wallet. There are six slots for cards. You have a pocket here where you can fit some more cards potentially. A pocket here where you can fit some more cards. And then here is a bill pocket. And you can see I have a dollar in the bill pocket just to show that it's obviously going to fit and there's plenty of room up at the top because this is a fairly tall bill pocket. So you could potentially put some receipts or some other papers that need to be folded up that are a little bit taller and stack up a little bit higher than the dollar bill would. Um, as far as thickness, you could get quite a few bills in here and have room before it really gets too bulky to close. Although I wouldn't stretch it too much just in case. So here you have a little slot for coins. There's a little dirty penny in here. Uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out of if you want to retrieve your coins or if you want to put some cash folded here or, you know, any, any other small flat items are going to fit in that coin pouch because it goes down pretty far. It's, you know, the whole length of this top compartment. And I just want to show, the only thing that I can say I've had a little bit of disappointment with, and probably because it's still on the newer side, and I don't usually take cards in and out so much, but I'm going to demonstrate with this gift card. The card slots are pretty tight, and when you have this filled, when you have all of your cards in here, This is an Ulta Rewards card. Just make sure that I'm getting this in. Nope, it wasn't in this slot. I wouldn't stack more than one card in each slot either because it's really not going to fit so well. And a casino card. So you can see once all these cards are in here, it's a little bit of a challenge to pull one out and I honestly don't have the best grip so 
it's especially hard for me. I mean, it's going to come out, but I would really recommend not stuffing these compartments to their capacity because it's going to be really, really tight. So typically what I'll do is take my cards and just kind of spread them out this way and keep two and then two. I mean, I generally don't go out with very many credit cards, so it's not too usual that I'd be using all these slots, but I definitely would also keep my driver's license, my insurance card, and if it really was a problem, I could always keep it in this pocket underneath where the, the card slots are. So yeah, that's my only complaint with the Victorine is that the slots tend to be a little bit tight and you know, there's a workaround for it. If you kind of space them out a little bit better, it's certainly much easier. See, look, you can grab it much better. They will stretch out in time, but I really didn't want to get this and, you know, start stuffing it so that the whole thing was going to be totally out of shape. And here's the stamp. Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Italy. And I had this since 2019. The glazing on it is still okay. You can see the silk screen hasn't chipped off. And again, if you're buying the normal version, you're not going to have the silk screen on it. But if you do have any other Louis Vuitton small leather goods, or if you're ever thinking about them, you can be pretty well assured that it's going to stay, you know, in, in fairly good shape. Um, this here at the corner... Uh, it might be a little tiny bit of, no, I think it's actually just the print. But yeah, the glazing is fine. I haven't had any problems with splitting or cracking at the creases. Um, it's really held up very, very well. The second compact wall, which you're going to see is a little bit smaller than the Victorine, is the Rosalie. So here's what they look like stacked one on top of the other. You could see... The Victorine is a tiny bit wider, and I mean a tiny bit wider. And it's probably about, I would say, maybe a quarter of an inch taller, maybe a tiny bit more than a quarter of an inch. This little coin purse holds so much. It's really not a coin purse. I don't know why they call it a coin purse, because it actually is a small wallet. I'd say the dimensions of this are a little bit smaller than the YSL envelope wallet, and it certainly holds a lot more than that wallet. This comes in all three canvases still, and when I looked on the website today, I don't think it was available in Monogram, but I do think that there was, I, I think that they had stock in Damier Ben, and I think that this still comes in Azure, and they did have some Azure Victorines. So anyway, in the Rosalie, this is a similar setup. Well, I have a receipt here. This is a similar setup where you have your coin pouch in the front. And I do have some coins here. Even though this is smaller, it's still pretty easy to get things in and out. You can't put more than like a finger in there, but it, it's not a problem if you have to dig out coins. And it's gonna hold a lot before it gets really overstuffed. I have two credit cards here in the front. I have a couple of business cards. I think three business cards that are along this back wall. There's two, there's one slot here. And in this part, I have back pockets. So I have one, two, two cards here, three cards, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the business cards, nine, 10. So there's 10 cards all together that are in here now. And you can see that it closes with no trouble. And it's not really bulging on either side. And I've had this since 2018. And you can see it's held up really, really well. Thankfully, nothing's happened so far. The glazing still looks okay. There's like a tiny little scuff here but I actually don't think that it's a scuff at all. I think it's just the lighting and the way the lighting's hitting that spot. The button on this was 
no, actually, this is the original button. This wasn't replaced. They replaced the button on my key holder, which is fuchsia and monogram. But this is the original button. I haven't had any problems with it peeling or chipping. And the canvas is still in fine condition. No pop stitches, no nothing. And I use this wallet a lot. I mean a lot. In fact, when I got it, I think for the first year and a half, I didn't even change out of it, even though I have a bunch of other wallets. I can see I had it hot stamped, and the hot stamp is still totally intact. So yeah, so out of these wallets, these two compact wallets, if I had to recommend one, I would say for the size, for the price, and the layout, I prefer the Rosalie. I think the Rosalie is one of the best small leather goods that any company makes. I think that it's just perfect. You can fit it in almost any small bag. I've put this in all of my pochette accessoires with no trouble. You can put it in the pocket of your coat and just, you know, go. It's really, really convenient for the size. The Victorine is nice. It's a little bulkier. Even if somebody carries more cards, though, you can hold just as many cards in the Rosalie as you can with the Victorine. The only advantage for the Victorine is having this really large bill slot and the ability to hold more bills than you could in the Rosalie. But again, if you're not carrying that much cash or if you just wanna really tuck a couple of bills, the Rosalie is gonna do you just fine. So if there's a special someone in your life you're looking to get them something for Christmas that's not going to be just outrageous, but still a beautiful, beautiful, thoughtful, luxurious gift. My bet would be to go for either of these two Louis Vuitton SLGs and happy shopping. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.